Good morning, everyone. It's a cool and rainy morning here in Idaho. I'm fishing a new river that I've never fished before. I think it has rainbow trout in it, but I'm not sure. And I'm fishing a new rod today also. This is the holy grail of Tenkara rods. This is the Tenru Furaibo TF39, I think. Let me double check that. Okay, it's the TF39TA. This is an expensive Tenkara rod. I don't know if it's the most expensive Tenkara rod. I think it's around, it's one of the most expensive Tenkara rods, but I don't know off the top of my head which one is more expensive that isn't like a custom made one by a Japanese master or something. You can buy this rod usually from Tenkara Bum, but it's out of stock and won't be back in stock until next year, he says. Uh, someone actually gave me this rod. Someone sent it to me. I have a very kind patron who likes to send me different rods to try. And uh, again, you know who you are and I appreciate you sending me these rods. Packs down to 14 inches, it's a short rod. And then it has, it's a triple zoom or double zoom rod. It can be fished at three different lengths that are about 11 feet, 13 feet, and then halfway in between there, roughly 12 feet. I will be fishing this at its longest length today. And then in future videos, I'll fish it in its shortest and middle lengths. So anyway, Let's get to fishing. Let's try very hard to not fall and break this rod before we get to the river. Okay. Let's give it a cast here. First cast. Let's see if we get anything. I'll give you an update here and there about how I feel about the rod, but I'll give you my final thoughts toward the end of the video here. As far as aesthetics go, it's a gorgeous rod. I said this when I fished the, uh, the Tenkara Rod Company Yari that they made in Japan. It's widely believed that they used Tenru, this company, to make those rods. This whole coloration with like the, the bright red, it's my favorite coloration of a rod, I think. It's just simple and beautiful. Not the most under the radar color. If you're one of those people who's concerned that the fish might see the rod, then you might not want to get a bright red rod. But for me, I don't think it's a huge issue. And it's just gorgeous. The handle is interesting too. This cork handle is uniformly shaped. It's, it's, there's no taper to it, apart from the very top here. There are no humps. There we go, fish on. That is a rain, right? If it'll stop moving. Yep, that's a rainbow trout. Beautiful. Maybe seven or eight inches long. See ya, buddy. Sweet. First fish on this super expensive rod. Felt good. Uh, this rod isn't like noodly soft. I felt like even in this pretty swift current here, I could direct the fish where I wanted it to, to go pretty easily. So that's great. I've got a, um, a 13 foot line on here. And the fly I'm using is an Idaho Killer Kabari, which I'll put a picture of right here. Fish on. It's a little rainbow. There it is. Pretty little rainbow. Had some more colors than the last one. Had par marks too. I don't think the last one did. About the same size as the other one. Not a big fish. Whoa, fish on. I was just trailing the line in the water as I was moving up, which is something I like to do. 
because sometimes you get a fish on and sure enough wasn't paying attention at all that's a fat little rainbow <laughs> all these fish are about the same size this one's the fattest I've seen so far ah. see ya buddy he was eager to get back sweet fish number three Fish on! Oh, he went under the rocks. Don't know if I'll be able to get him out. I think he might have come off. I'm stuck on something. Oh no, I still have a fish on. So that's the biggest one yet. It's like a 10 or 11 incher. Again, very colorful. Nice golden colors in addition to the pink. See ya, buddy. Beautiful. Moving upstream. Trying hard not to slip and fall in. These are still relatively new wading boots for me. They're the Reddington Benchmarks. And they're more slippery than I would like. They're more slippery than my last boots. And so <laughs> it's kind of a pain when I do have to do boulder hopping like this. Because with every step, I feel like I'm gonna fall and get swept down the river. Builds character, I guess, right? I like the look of this handle that's all straight, but I think I prefer the feel of the handles with the humps on them. Gives you just a little bit more variety. You can move up and down and just change your grip and uh, you know, your hand doesn't get quite as tired. You know, when I cast this rod, I'm feeling a weird sort of click almost. Like when I cast the rod back forward, there's like a, I don't know, I feel, I feel something. It's not smooth all the way through and I don't know why. I've tried varying basically everything about my cast, but I'm still feeling that. Tell me if you have this rod or if you've fished this rod and you feel that, that little tick when you cast. It's mostly when I cast forward that I feel that little, that little bit of something happening. Fish on. Whoa. Acrobatic rainbow trout, fighting hard. Not huge, it's about the same size as the others. A little bit bigger than the average. About 10 inches. Got one. Again, good fighter. But again, no match for the Tenru Furaibo TF39 TA, uh, whatever this thing is called. Okay, yeah, it's written on the side here. Tenru Tenkara Furaibo TF39 TA. Length. 3.3 meters, 3.6 meters, 3.9 meters. Made in Japan.
Got one from the same spot, same general area as the last two. And it is yet another rainbow trout. Got him. Whoa. Almost fell face first into the river. Got one. What the fish in here lack in size, they make up for in numbers. Finally, got him. After wrapping the line around myself. Beautiful. Push on. Got him. I keep trying to bring this fish up to show you guys and they slip out of my hands. I don't want to like grab the fish hard. Oh, had some interest. And again, and this definitely is the smallest fish of the day. Little rainbow. Okay, I think this over here, this right here is the last spot I'm gonna fish. Then I gotta get out of here. Got one. We got him. And yep, he's about the same size as all the others. Fish on. Got him. All right, guys, I think that's all for fishing this river here. Had a great time, caught 17 fish in a little over two hours. All rainbow trout, all more or less the same size. Real quick, before we get to the very end of the video, I wanted to say that after I fished that river, I took a picture of the rod and I posted it to Instagram and I said, hey, I fished this rod today. I had this problem. Do you guys know what the problem is? Have you had this issue with a rod? And I got a few helpful answers. A couple people said to make sure I had the, the sections, the joints seated correctly, like I fully extended all the sections, fully extended the whole rod. So. That's something I'm gonna try next time. The second person said that it could be the Lillian ticking the rod because there's some slack there. So I'm gonna try, again, the next time I fish with the rod, I'm going to try tying the level line to the Lillian at different places, see if I can play around with that a little bit. And then the third thing that people said, well, one person said this, that he had the same rod and he had the same problem and that it was because there were some imperfections in the, the unpainted section um, the unpainted sections of the rod, so like the joints of the rod. So he 
took some sandpaper and he wet sanded down those joints and he sanded away those imperfections and that solved the problem. So I'm gonna try those first two in the future the next time I fish with the rod. And then if those don't fix them, then I'll get the sandpaper out and try the third option. So just wanted to add that in here. Let me know if you think it could be something else or if you have another idea, but let's get back to the video. This was an interesting rod for me to fish. Like it's such a high-end rod. People really like this rod. I didn't really connect with it and I don't know why. Again, when I was casting, I just felt something each time. It wasn't smooth. Um, it wasn't like the line hitting the rod or anything like that, but I don't know what it was. So let me know if you have this rod. I want to hear from you. Have you felt that with this rod or is it just me? And if it's just me, why is it just me? I tried so many different ways of casting this thing and it wasn't like every time that I cast the rod, I felt that, but 90% of the time, probably. I will fish with this rod again. Maybe I'll put a different line on it and I'm definitely gonna fish it at its different lengths in the future. So yeah, I'm not done with this rod. It was fun to fish with it and it was fun to fish this new river. Caught a bunch of fish. They were all pretty small, but hey, had a great time. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures if you want to check that out. Links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.